If you are looking for a comprehensive course to get you started with AWS penetration testing, this would have to be it. As you might have seen on the channel sometime last year, I developed a bit of an interest in cloud security with a specific focus on AWS. There's a lot of free materials out there to learn the security related aspects of AWS, but I am one of the people that subscribe to the notion of having a structured learning path instead of having to look for things in different corners of the internet. This is when I got introduced to cloud breach by day from Cyberworks. I looked them up, saw the curriculum, and said, this is absolutely what I need. I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. So I hit them up, asked them if they would be willing to let me take the course, and uh, they were kind enough to say yes. And I'd just like to emphasize that I'm the one that reached out after having looked at their curriculum and what they had to offer. Am I only saying this is a good course because they let me take the course for free though? Good question. The answer is no. So let's talk about it. First question, what is CloudBreach and what do they offer? CloudBreach provides cloud security training grounds based on real life attack scenarios. They currently offer training for Azure and AWS. I think breaching Azure is the more well-known course if I am not mistaken. But like I said, I'm mostly interested in AWS at the moment. So that's the course I took. Another question, what is in the course? The breaching AWS labs provide a simulated environment in which a fictitious financial institution named 2 Capital has its infrastructure hosted on the AWS platform. Within these labs, students can acquire knowledge about utilizing AWS specific methods, which encompass tasks such as performing AWS reconnaissance, executing privilege escalation strategies, and exploiting AWS services. The course currently comes at $5.99 for their 30 day lab access, which should be plenty of time for you to go to the course content. But with the discount code on screen, you can save yourself 15%. The discount code is valid for 30 days, so don't take too long to think about it. Pull the plug right now. Wait, 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 wait. After this, actually. Okay, the entirety of the course has 22 attack paths, 17 AWS services, in two different regions and you have 26 flags to capture as you go through the course it doesn't get better than that people okay that actually sounded fake i knew it was fake i knew it i knew it but <laughs> i'm being genuine 26 flags to capture is actually pretty insane it's kind of like doing two of the hack the box pro labs because I think one lab would have, what, 10 flags, maybe? Yeah, so like two and a half, I guess. But depending on your level of expertise, this will either take you a while or it'll fly by really quickly. I took my time because I had a lot of work to do and it was the holiday. So I was also spending time with friends and family. If I had taken this any other time of the year, I would have finished within a week, honestly. Yeah. A week would have been sufficient if we take a look at the course content there is everything from aws phishing techniques abusing kubernetes misconfigurations extracting secrets from secret manager the whole nine yards you can take a look at the curriculum which i'll put on screen for everything my personal favorites were the abusing container registry permissions module where they show you how you can upload a malicious docker image to ecr which is the Ele electric elastic container repository <laughs> and get a reverse shell so they show you how to upload a malicious docker image to ecr and get a reverse shell which was pretty cool and another one of my favorites was the intercepting sensitive data by utilizing sns where you end up intercepting credentials for one of the two capital developers like who puts devs do some devs do some of the wildest things who puts credentials in sns but by the end of the course you should be able to do the following enumerate aws services identify cloud misconfigurations exploit access control gaps lateral movement there's a lot of lateral movement which i'm a big fan of trust me there is a lot of lateral movement and then you also get to do you know your vertical um 
privilege escalation. You should also be able to conduct phishing attacks and lastly, conduct cloud security audits in AWS as a whole. All right, that's most of the meat of the course. Let's get into a Q&A section of the video and uh, wrap this up because honestly, this is a short course, but it's very sweet. First question, how long did it take to complete? It took me the entire 30 days to go through the course content. Honestly, the first half took me a week or so because I was doing like one module a day. So I'm lying. It took me two weeks, right? And then I was going out. Then Christmas kind of hit. So I didn't do anything for like a week. And then the last week is when I just binged everything on like a Saturday and a Sunday and I finished everything. Right. That's how long it took. Um, how do you access the labs? So they provide you a PDF in the beginning after you register for the course, and then they give you access to a AWS virtual machine. And this is probably the fastest cloud VM I've ever used. There is no lag. Maybe it's just my Wi-Fi. <sighs> you know the pain of a slow VM, but this one is absolutely fast. So that's what you use to access the labs. They have some of their proprietary scripts on there that you have to use for the course, unless you have your own. But yeah, that's what you use to access everything. Next question. Do you need any extra resources outside the course to pass? No. If you do the course and you take good notes, the exam will be straight forward. Next question. How long did the exam take? What is the format? So the exam took me about an hour, 30 minutes only because I was being stupid in the beginning. It probably would have taken me 45 minutes, maybe, but that's just me. It might take you longer. It might take you less, right? What's the format? It's a 24 hour exam. They give you access to an environment and then you have to hack into the environment capture the final flag and then you have 24 hours to write your report after that right any recommended labs outside the actual labs um if you want extra resources which i think you really don't need if you go through the course you'll be fine if you want any extra resources you can take a look at pwn labs they have great aws stuff right and uh, I think that is the last question I got from the Discord. All right, people, that's it from me. Remember to use the discount code on screen when you make the purchase and save yourself 15%. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.